Hey guys, hope you're well. So as you know, I am a coach here in the UK and the British weather is pretty terrible. And in the last few days, it's August here at the moment and we've had winds of up to 50 miles per hour. And lots of those days I've been out here coaching or even playing matches in the, the club tournament. So this video, I'm going to talk through seven ways that you can improve your tennis when playing in the wind. Let's get into it. Before we talk about improving your game, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to every single one of you that has been viewing my videos. Just recently, I've hit three milestones on this channel. We've reached 500 subscribers. We've reached 1,000 watch hours since starting a few months ago. And we've had over 20,000 views, and it's all thanks to you guys. If you're new to this channel, I post loads of videos for coaches, for tennis players and for parents also to get the most out of your tennis. So if that's something that interests you, click the subscribe button underneath and be sure to tap the bell button as well and that will give you a notification when I put my next videos out. So the first way to improve your tennis when playing in the wind happens before you even get on court and it's accepting that you're not going to play your best tennis. When it's windy, it's very, very difficult for you to play at your top level purely because the ball that comes in is less predictable. It's not going to bounce up into your comfort zone all the time. You're not going to have all of the time in the world to make contact with the ball. So it's going to be difficult, but if you accept it, it will make things a lot, lot easier. Your opponent's in the same situation as you, and if you can put yourself in a positive mindset before you step on court, it will give you that advantage that you need to play well. The next thing that you can think about happens when you step onto the court and it's knowing the direction of the wind and knowing the wind's power. So when you step onto the court, if you have that knowledge of where the wind's blowing and how often, if it's gusty or if it's consistent, then it will give you a head start when preparing yourself for each of your shots. If you know that the wind is on your back and it's with you, then you're probably gonna to have to position yourself slightly closer into the court to allow for your opponent's slightly shorter or slightly slower shots. On the other side of that, if you're playing against the wind and the wind's blowing towards you, you're probably going to have to position yourself slightly further back because that ball's going to come in slightly deeper, slightly quicker, and it's going to allow you to have that extra space that you need to hit a good shot. The same goes for if the winds are across the court. So if there are heavy crosswinds, you might have to adjust your positioning according to which direction the wind is blowing. But just knowing the direction in itself will give you a bit of an advantage when you step onto the court. Quite often players it takes quite a few games for them to get into it and to understand how the wind's moving so if you can try to do this in the warm-up it will give you a little head start something that i like to use with my players is talking about how the wind directs where you go to so if you feel a big gust of wind on your chest it's telling you to step backwards if you feel a gust of wind on your back it's telling you to step in if the wind's coming from this way it's telling you to shift your way this way and so on and if you follow the wind and what it's telling you to do it will allow you to prepare for your shots a bit better so, you know, sometimes you play tennis matches and the wind isn't consistent, it's all over the place. But as soon as you feel the wind push on this side, it's telling you that that ball's probably going to move that way. So try to think about how that wind is moving and when it's moving. So once you've accepted that you're not going to play your best, and once you know the direction and the power of the wind, the next thing is to think about your movement and your positioning. Now, if you're a player that's used to playing lots of indoor tennis or in, in climates where there's not much wind, then quite often you can prepare your racket nice and early, you can plant your feet, and you know that that ball's going to bounce up into your contact point for a nice clean shot. But unfortunately, in windy weather, it's not as easy as that. So you shouldn't plant your feet quite so early. Ideally, you want to be on your toes all the way up until just before you swing forwards to the ball. That way you can make some last minute adjustments if the ball moves out of your comfort zone. Once you're in the right position, we're now gonna talk about how to send the ball. So with the wind, it doesn't matter which direction the wind's blowing in, you need to try to aim for slightly bigger targets on the court. So generally, we don't aim for the lines anyway, but if you're playing indoors or you're playing in a climate where there's no wind, you can aim a lot closer to the lines and have a lot more success. But on a windy day, there's a big risk that that wind's gonna carry the ball out of the court and into a place of the court that you weren't aiming for. So aiming for bigger target areas can help you to be more successful and for you to stay in that point for longer. With that in mind, playing with better height over the net can also help you to be safer. If you're hitting quite low shots, that's not 
just in ground strokes but on your serves as well. If you can hit more topspin on your serve or more topspin on your forehands and backhands, that's going to allow the ball to rise and dip over the net. So playing with bigger targets, playing with spin and playing with good height over the net can help you to be safer in your game. But going back to one of the earlier tips, make sure you know the direction of the wind. Because if you're with the wind and you aim too high, that ball's going to fly out the back of the court. So have a good understanding of where the wind's blowing, how powerful it is, and that can help you to decide how much spin, how much height, and where you place the balls. And in general, aim for bigger target areas than you normally would. The next tip is with regards to the serve. Now, on a really, really windy day, I tend to throw my ball toss slightly lower than usual. When the ball is up in the air, if you throw it too high, there's a lot that can go wrong. The wind can carry the ball away from you. So shortening the height of your ball toss can help you to get that contact point more consistent. As we said right at the start, you're not going to hit your best serves in the wind, but what you can do is minimise the risk. So lower ball toss can help you to be a little bit more consistent. I mentioned in the last tip about spin as well. I tend to hit with more top spin and slice when it's windy to ensure that that ball goes in play. If I'm hitting against the wind, I've got the freedom to hit a bit flatter and a bit faster, but in general, I tend to kind of bring my serves in so that I can have high first serve and second serve percentage so that I'm actually in the rally and have a much better chance of winning the point. So these next two tips are my favourites. Um, I use them when I play matches in the wind. It puts me in a good position tactically to do well in my match. So the first one is when you're playing with the wind. So when I say playing with the wind, it's when the wind is on your back and it's giving your shots more power. So when I play with the wind, my aim is to be super steady, super solid. Now I know that just by hitting my 50% speed shots on my forehands and backhands, the ball's gonna feel quite heavy for my opponent at the other end. The ball's gonna travel a lot deeper. It's gonna come through a lot faster without me having to put the effort in. So what I tend to do to play more steady is slow my swing down and hit with a bit more topspin on both sides. You've got the luxury of the wind on your back, adding speed to your shots and taking speed away from your opponent. So it's likely that if you can stay steady with the wind on your back, that your opponent eventually is gonna give you a short ball or a slower ball. So you've got a chance to hit a little bit bigger into the open court. So be steady, use the bigger parts of the court. Don't try to hit your biggest shots. It's likely that those shots are gonna go long and they're gonna go wild. So steady when you're playing with the wind. On the flip side of this, when you're playing against the wind, so when the wind is coming towards you, obviously it's gonna be a lot tougher for you to hit with depth and with power. So I like to play with more variety. So when the wind is against me, I like to use my slice backhand quite a lot. I like to chip the ball around, hit the ball short, hit higher deep shots. You can play with variety when you're against the wind because if you're hitting a drop shot, that ball isn't going to carry through to your opponent. It's going to stop. It's going to make it incredibly difficult for them to get to. And on the other side of that, if they come into the net, you've, you've got the freedom to hit a much bigger lob over the top because the ball's not as likely to go long. So play with variety, mix, mix up the height of your shots, mix up the spins. You can go bigger as well because you're against the wind, but variety is the key when you're playing against the wind. My final tip, and personally I think it's the most important of all of them, is don't complain. Now the worst thing that you can do when you're playing in a tennis match or even in training is complaining about the wind. You instantly give your opponent the upper hand and if you're in a training session you're putting yourself at a negative starting point. So make sure that when you're playing in the wind, you have a positive outlook. So hopefully all of these tips that I've given you will help you to feel more positive in the wind. And just remember, your opponent is not gonna play their best tennis either. So it's an opportunity for you to use the wind to your advantage as opposed to letting it get to you. So try to be as positive as you can be, but whatever you do, don't complain about the wind. So there you have it. They are some of the ways that I like to improve my tennis when I'm playing in the wind. Now, if any of those tips you found useful, let me know in the comments below. But equally, if there are any other tips that you like to use to play better in the wind, make sure you share them below because I'm sure some of the other viewers will like to see what you do as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I hope to see you all soon. Take care.